how comfortable would you feel doing what I just did, which is to go to the stream just over here, reach down with my water bottle, scoop up some water, put the cap back on, and then drink directly from it? Are you comfortable that the filtration system that you're using now would take out all the things that you should be concerned about in that water? Well, if you're not quite sure, then let me share this with you. And this is a water bottle from water to go If you're interested in finding out what it's capable of, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just want to declare that I did not pay for this bottle. It was sent to me by the company for testing and review. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video. So, the backstory. I became aware of this water bottle uh, a few months ago. I, I think I saw a posting on Facebook and uh, I was interested to see what it had to say. Uh, when I saw what the uh, posting was all about, I decided to do a little background checking on it by, through YouTube mostly as well as through other sources. And after, it was after that that I reached out to the company to see if they'd be interested in sending me one of these for testing and review. So what is it that made this so interesting to me? Well, there were a couple of videos on YouTube and I'll make sure I put links to these videos in the video description because you really want to watch these if you're interested in this water bottle at all. And what I saw the reviewers doing with their water bottle just shocked me, literally, it really did. I didn't think I would see anybody do these type of tests with their water bottles. And uh, well, to be honest, I'm not gonna do the same tests because, not because I don't believe the water bottle is capable of it, more because I just didn't wanna shorten the lifespan of the filter any more than I needed to. So, but I do trust that it does what those people showed. So what is this water bottle capable of? What sets it out and makes it different from a lot of other water bottles on the market? Well, okay, so this is a self-contained unit. It is not an inline filter. It can't be used as an inline filter. All the filtering will have to be done from water that you put inside of the water bottle. Let me quickly show you the filter system and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So that is the filter. It is screwed onto the cap and it is replaceable and uh, it sits in the cap. So you drink from it, from the pour spout by giving it a little bit of squeeze. Well, that's clean tasting water. Okay, so what is it this thing is capable of? And then I'll tell you how it achieves that capability and why that's different from a lot of the other bottles. So I do have some notes here because it's pretty expansive. So this filter in this bottle is guaranteed to remove the following waterborne contaminants to 99.9999%. So, yeah, I guess no one wants to guarantee 100%, but that's as close as I think you can get. So here's, I would expect it to do this. It re will remove the protozoan pro uh, parasites such as Cryptosporidium and Giardia. Most water filters will do that today, and they do that through a mechanical filtration that has microfibers that are smaller than those contaminants are and will keep them out of your water. So that didn't surprise me, and I would have been surprised if it couldn't have done that. It will also take out viruses, bacterias, chemicals and pesticides, and heavy metals, as well as particulate matter. Now, let me just speak to the particulate matter for a moment. So, most filters are capable of removing silt. They should be, if not directly through a pre-filter, or, you know, maybe you use your bandana over the end of the bottle to get, make sure you don't get mud and stuff into your water bottle. But what should be of concern to you now more than ever are microplastics that are showing up in the environment. They say there's probably no fresh water in the world that does not have microplastics dissolved into it. And these microplastics are not processed by, out by our body. So as we absorb them or as we drink them in and we absorb them into our body and they stay, they're not coming out. So if I can do anything to remove microplastics from the water that I'm drinking, you know I'm going to be doing that. So um, yeah, now the water in your area may or may not have bacteria. I can almost guarantee that it has bacteria and the uh, protozoans because just about every water source in the world, unless it's coming from the very top of some very high mountains, has that. You don't think so? Well, unless you can see the source of the water, there's a good chance there's something laying in that water that is rotting and causing both bacteria to be created or to grow and allow to float downstream, as well as I mentioned, Giardia cryptosporidium. Whether or not your water source has viruses in it, it depends on where you are in the world, 
whether or not your water source has chemicals and pesticides and heavy, and heavy metals is also dependent on where you are in the world. So I'm in the local wilderness here, but the portion of the wilderness I'm in is not that far from a developed area. It's probably a couple of kilometers. And I know that the stream that I just drank out of is coming in part from runoff from that industrial area, that developed area. So there is a very good chance that it has some of those chemicals some of those heavy metals, some of those pesticides in it. And yet I trust my water bottle to take all of that out. So what is it that makes this filter different than other filters that are out there? Well, to begin, they use a three-tier system. They start with the mechanical system, like most of the water filters out there. Um, when they mean by mechanical, it is pores of a very, very small micron size, smaller than most of the contaminants that your water will have, and it will keep those from going through the filter to where you drink from, of course. But on top of that, they have an activated carbon filter, but a special activated carbon filter. This does more than just take bad flavors or bad tastes out of the water, but it will attract a lot of the chemicals and the heavy metals to it. And it's made in such a way that it's more effective than most carbon filters, <clears throat> excuse me, are. And the third one, and this was kind of unique to me, is that it is designed to build up an electrostatic charge, which further attracts and traps those heavy metals, chemicals, and pesticides to it. So by the time the water gets through that filter, it is as pure as is humanly possible to make. And I'll tell you this, if you think that boiling water or adding chlorine is doing the job for you, think again. Yes, it'll get rid of some of the bio or all of the biologicals, but it won't get rid of the chemicals, the pesticides, or the heavy metals. You need a filter in order to do that. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, this bottle was sent to me. This is a 26 ounce bottle that they sent. This one is called the Active Bottle. It's designed for sport activities. And I quite like this design because it is a little bit flexible on the side, which allows me to give a little bit of pressure to it to help the flow of water out of it. But there are a few other designs, which if you go to the website, you can uh, read and see more about. What is it those tests, those YouTube videos showed that I was quite so surprised about? Well, the first one, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, but I watched uh, an owner of one of these bottles go to literally a mud puddle. It looked like a swampy mud puddle, and it was so turbid, so dark and so black that you wouldn't have been able to see your hand inside of the water. In fact, he scooped the water up and it was just black. It was all organic matter to the best of my knowledge, yet he filled the water bottle up with that uh, <laughs> that dirty water and then proceeded to pour some of it into his hand and it was perfectly clear. Okay, that was surprising that somebody would want to try that with a water bottle, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, my water bottle, I hope my, any of my systems would do that. Not that I would want to. I mean, why put the system through all that extra strain of having to take all that out of it? But it's good to know that I could do that if I had to. It's the next video that really, really did surprise me. And the guy was so convinced that the bottle would work to filter everything out that he did three tests on video, full tests, no cheating or anything else. And the first one was he put uh, Coca-Cola in his bottle and uh, he poured water into a glass from it and the, everything in from the coca-cola was taken out all the color all the flavor of the sugar all the chemicals the sweetness whatever so he ended up being able to filter out all the the things that are contained in coca-cola okay impressive not something you're likely to want to do but it's good to know that it will do that uh, the next one was something I would not personally do and I again I don't know the point other than to demonstrate that it can be done is that he made a cup of coffee and did the same thing with his coffee. And okay, yeah, that's impressive. It took all the coffee flavor and all the coffee materials out of the coffee. But you know, uh, most good filters I think would do that. I would trust him to do that. Again, I don't know why I'd want to other than to prove that it could be done. It was the third test that was just, you know, I don't know that it's something I've ever seen anybody else do. And that is he used a glass of his own urine put his urine in the bottle, put the cap back on, poured the water from the bottle into a glass, showed it as being perfectly clear, and then drank it down. Do you trust your filter to do that?
Well, having watched that, um, I would trust my filter to do that. That's again, it's not something I'm going to be doing myself, but again, it's nice to know that it could be done if I had to, or just to show what you're, you can trust this bottle to do. Now you might say, how does that relate to the real world? Are there chemicals in those things that we don't want to drink? And would any of the chemicals I just, or any of the contaminants I just talked about, would they likely to be in there? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. What I do know is it is that unknowing that makes me concerned about drinking water. Now, uh, again, I don't know that there are chemicals in the water I've just put in this bottle, but I believe there's a possibility of it. If you have that same concern that there might be chemicals, pesticides, heavy metals in your, in your water source, then you owe it to yourself to look into options that you can feel safe will remove it from your bottle. All right, so just a few things about the filter to self. I guess one of the first things is, is how is it to use? Does it work? Uh, yeah, it, okay, let me just see if I can squeeze a little bit out. You can see it's not a fast flow and I am giving the bottle a little squeeze so it's not as if it's pouring out gushing water because of course it takes time for the filter to be able to do that. But with a little squeeze and drawing on the end of the water bottle itself, I can get enough water to satisfy my thirst. So it works well enough to do that. How long does the filter last? Well, I'm going to put the specifications in the uh, video description below, but um, 200 liters or 230 liters, let me just double check, but I'm going to qualify that for you. So what does the information say? Uh, 200 liters, 200 liters or 53 gallons, but okay, let's just put that in perspective again. Um, how much, that really depends on the quality of your water. If you're already, your water is clean, clear, no turbidity, no, no apparent uh, chemicals or anything in it, then if you're, that's all you're filtering most of the time, it's going to go well past that 200 liters it, uh, in, it, before it needs to be replaced. But how do you know if it needs to be replaced? Well, when I spoke to the representative from the company, he said there are two signs that it's time to replace your filter. Don't try and guess or judge how much you've done in volume. And, uh, I, you know, I, we had this discussion and I talked to him about, I have some filters, very common ones on the market, and I've had them long enough that I have no idea how much water I've put through them. And that probably is an indication it's time to replace them. They weren't expensive filters. They're only guaranteed for the uh, uh, Cryptosporidian and Giardia, not for the others. So is it time to replace them? Probably. If I can't remember how much water I put through them, probably it is. But his guideline for replacing this filter is it will start to slow down in terms of the flow. So if you notice that the flow rate is slowing down, that's one indication. And the other indication is if there's a taste on the water after it is filtered, then yeah, it is time for you to replace the filter. Now, he qualified that by saying that doesn't mean the filter is not taking all the things out that it's guaranteed to do, but it is continuing to do that, but it's getting to a point where it's not doing so effectively enough for regular use and it's time to replace the filter. And of course the filters are available to replace in your bottle. Okay. That was a bit of a long ramble on the use of this filter, but I think it is worth looking at. It is the only one I know of on the market that has that three tier system that uses not only mechanical filtration, but a unique activated carbon element as well as the electrostatic charge. And there is, by the way, instructions on how you need to activate the electrostatic charge in the bottle before you start using it. And uh, I'll leave that for you to look at in the uh, video description as well as on their website. There is one other aspect of this filter that was very important to me that I wanted to make sure of, actually two things I want to bring out, uh, that I wanted to make sure of before I talked about it, and one is, will this filter be affected by freezing? And I was guaranteed, no, this is not the type of filter that will be damaged if it is frozen. You may not be able to use it because the liquid inside is frozen, but if you were to defrost it or thaw it out, you could start using it without any worries that it's lost any of its effectiveness. So that was a good one for me. 
Something else that I was concerned about, and only because it's becoming more and more of an issue, are, are what's known as cyanotoxins in our water. Cyanotoxins are the byproduct of blue-green algae blooms in water, quite often in stagnant waters, quite often in industrial areas. Some of our local recreational lakes around the city here are closed during the summer because of the blue-green algae and the cyanotoxin, and quite often the first thing we hear is about somebody's dog went swimming and then died the next day. So very potent, very dangerous stuff. And what you need to know about it is most filters do not remove it and boiling does not deactivate the cyanotoxins. But this filter does filter them out. In fact, I, the, uh, the representative had to go back and check with the uh, R&D department to make sure, but he says, yes, we guarantee this will filter out the cyanotoxins, cyan, cyanotoxins from blue-green algae. Do I feel comfortable drinking anything that I can put in this bottle? Yes, I do. I, I feel totally comfortable that this will remove all of, of the contaminants of concern to me. Okay, that was a bit of a long-winded rant, and uh, I know there's more information and more questions you likely have about this uh, bottle and this system. As I mentioned, I'll put information where you can find out more about this bottle in the video description below. You're welcome to leave me any comments, any questions that you have regarding this system. Uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability and I'll invite the representative from the company to chime in if he has any questions that it looks like it's better for him to answer than me to try and answer. Okay, that's all I have for you today. And if, again, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the video or in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.